I give you all Nick Spanos, founder of the Big Bitcoin Center. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Hamza. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, the, I met Hamdan back on the campaign trail for Ron Paul when I did all the data and the phone banking and set all that stuff up. And he kept running up to me, I'm a, uh, I'm a data scientist, I'm a data scientist, you need me, you need me right now. I go, well, I'm mostly this. No, you need me, you need me. <laughs> I said, all right, sit down, show what we can do. And I think uh, we won Louisiana because, you know. Damn. And we stole Maine and, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> they didn't like us, they stole a bunch of our votes and we stole them back. Um, you know, Bitcoin. I've always been uh, hiding the fact that I'm here because I, uh, I think the Federal Reserve has enslaved everybody, so I've been hiding that, but I think the way uh, Hamdan just broke me out, I gotta say it. Look around. If you look around, you'll see next to you some people that might not be slaves anymore. Yeah! Yeah! We're not, you know, Bitcoin isn't going up. We're just getting a little taste of the Federal Reserve money. <laughs> <laughs> They've been doing that for, for decades. Uh, century. One century plus. 1913. December 23rd, 1913. Nice. Wow. But everybody was away on vacation. They said, hey, we're going to make a, you know, before uh, the Federal Reserve, there were hundreds of different currencies. Benjamin Franklin had a printing press business, and in his printing press business, he printed different currencies for all these different banks, for department stores. As a matter of fact, if you went to the Bank of Hoboken, they had a $3 bill, and you got a 3 20ths of an ounce of gold redeemable for that $3 bill. Uh, and then they took a little trip. Our owners took a trip down to Jekyll Island, Georgia, with fake names Mississippi. and try to figure out how they could screw us with some fake money. Mississippi With, with no gold. Georgia. 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 Take a lot of Georgia. And what happened is, I'm giving a speech right now. Can you hear me? <laughs> and what happened was, they're like, hey, why are you, who's going to use this bullshit money if it doesn't have any gold? Who's going to use it? We can show that it's going to have gold a little bit, but then we're going to start weaning them off the gold. As a matter of fact, FDR made gold illegal to be owned by an individual. So we're going to wean them off the gold. And, uh, but why would anyone use it? They'll just use the other currency. They say, oh, you know what? I got an idea. The way everyone's trying to figure out why someone would use their ICO currency, what happened was someone had the bright idea that they're going to invent the IRS. And you can only pay your taxes, 2% tax at the time, uh, war tax, with this fake money. Yep. So if you didn't collect the fake money, they put you in a cage. That was the motivation for that ICO. Yeah. Great ICO. USA! You know what I'm saying? Yeah, USA, not Federal Reserve, that's not USA. They're as federal as Federal Express. It's a bunch of banks on that. And like secret societies or some shit, they're probably gonna murder me. <laughs> they wanna poison me? Here, yeah, I'm right here, what the fuck? Ah. I was a commercial fisherman. I don't know if a lot of people knew that. I was a commercial fisherman after I lost my shirt in the real estate business. I still I was selling data to politicians on, uh, with labels because no one had a computer. But I went into the real estate business and then uh, I lost my shirt and then I became a commercial fisherman. And then I was watching TV and they said, hey, the width of Alan Greenspan's suitcase is going to dictate if the... Uh, uh, if, uh, 
the money was going to be worth let Too much to drink. You can do it. Well, anyway, it's going to go up and down. The width of Greenspan's briefcase. And if it's wide, the rate's going to go up. If it's slim, the rate's going to go down. I said, where is that motherfucker? That guy put me out of business. I want to find that guy. Where is he in his goddamn briefcase? I said to myself, who is this guy? I didn't know what it meant. So I went to the library. We didn't have Google. I know you guys Google at the hip and act like you know everything. But we had to go for hours. I had to go three, three hours on a train to learn how to build a computer with a soldering iron. When I was 13, I had to get on that train for three hours. You guys can just Google it now. That's so awesome. And I said, where is that guy? And then later, I was out in the boat fishing. And a big cold wave hit me in the face. And I saw a big octopus in the vision. And it was underneath the Federal Reserve Bill. As a matter of fact, we made some cartoons about it during the Ron Paul campaign. It was underneath the Federal Reserve Bill. It was 1991. It was underneath the Federal Reserve Building. And the tentacles reached up into the buildings, into the news buildings, and were typing on the teleprompters, and the reporters were reading it. That's wow. what I saw. Wow. In my vision, my dream, my wow. closes. And then, I said, holy fuck, I gotta go get rid of those guys. I mean, the world is a bountiful place. The world's a bountiful place. I said this before, the world is a bountiful place. In the 50s, only one person worked in the household. And there was food and stuff and everything for everybody. 60s, you know? And then now we all have to work. And you can't even fucking... You can't even, uh, <laughs> we're all working and uh, can't make ends meet. So my question is, was, what happened? Did the, did the world lose 75% of its food? No. Is that what happened? I don't think so. I don't know what the fuck happened. You know? But I think it has something to do with how much money these guys are printing, or now they don't even have to print it, they can just tap on the screen. They have proof, PO, they have proof of work. No, not proof of work, they have proof of war. Yeah. Well, they're the counterfeiters. They have the inflationary currency. I mean, we're the honest ones. You know? This is uh, Bitcoin and uh, these cryptocurrencies are the people's. Declaration of Monetary Independence. Yeah. 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 That's what it is. When you use that, and you don't use their shit, you get stronger. You know? I can hear the chains clanking down the street. I look down the street, the people coming off work, I hear chains. They're dragging their chains around. Do you see them? Yes. They don't know any better. Someone's got to wake them up, smack them in the face. I say, yo, you're a slave. You know, they had some Caesar guy, uh, uh, an advisor said to one of the Caesars, hey, we should put a red bandana on every slave so we can spot them. And then the Caesar said, no, nah, we better not, because then they'll know how many they are. And they'll take us down. Clap now. You're supposed to clap when I say something. <laughs> if you want to be a good advanced man. <laughs> Fuck it up. Uh, they said Bitcoin's bullshit. Bitcoin sucks. It's the end of Bitcoin. It's all, it's fucking seven dollars. It's seven dollars each. It's a goddamn bubble. <laughs> you guys are crazy. It's seven dollars, nine dollars. It's a real bubble. <laughs> oh my god, it's a bubble now. I went down a little. Thirty dollars? Bitcoin's a fraud. It's gonna be gone by next week, sell it fast. Thirty dollars each. Sell them fast. Over and over they told us. That it was gone and it was dead, and we're still standing. Where's James? 
We're still standing here. Woo! Woo! Not only are we standing, but we're standing tall. Yes, sir. And bold. Woo! And we're walking around open and notoriously. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah! Right? I mean, you try to explain it to someone, like, oh, what's it at? Oh, don't you think it's bubble? It's a 17 pounds. <laughs> it's goddamn bubble. It's goddamn bubble. I said, dude, you don't even know what a fucking Bitcoin is. There's a hundred million Satoshis per Bitcoin. Bitcoin's a technology. How many Satoshis you got? There's a hundred million Satoshis per Bitcoin. And you know what? Bitcoin is the biggest computer in the world right now. Yes, sir. Woo! Yes, sir. Bitcoin, baby. That dwarfs everything else. Yep. Supercomputer. So, people tell you it's a, it's a bubble or whatever. I mean, that's just a buying opportunity. I mean, uh... I had to sell a bunch of Bitcoin when I opened the Bitcoin Center. As a matter of fact, I don't know. I remember I was in the big, I was in my office, and I kept hearing bad news about Bitcoin because the reporters only heard, only gave bad news out because they didn't understand it. Probably we thought it was a conspiracy, but I think they were just, you know, they didn't. I didn't call them stupid. What? They said it, it wasn't uh, this or that. My phone got Show me on the news. <laughs> so, what happened was, I got a little upset, I kept getting upset every time I heard the bad news, I go, who the hell's promoting, who's helping Bitcoin, I mean, what the fuck, the news is saying only bad things, uh, it's only for drug dealers, it's for uh, prostitution, I mean, I haven't found the prostitute will take a Bitcoin yet. <laughs> I'm fucking around joking. <laughs> but, you know, that's all they knew how to write about. So people were like, oh, I don't know. So I, uh, over and over, I heard the bad news for years. Uh, the one day, I just freaked out. I mean, you, you were there, right, Hamdan? What'd I do? Oh, you started You started smashing the wall and the furniture, and you started banging your hand against the pole, the traffic pole outside. Woo! I got a little crazy and I wrecked all the furniture in my office, like a gorilla. And I said, fuck them. I go, I don't give a shit. They're trying making us trade in the back alleys. And I was like, I said, what I said, I said, how much money we got in the bank? I said, how much money we got in the bank? And I found out, I ran downtown, found the biggest space of them all. Right next to New York Stock Exchange, 100 feet away. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Revolution! And I said, oh! I said, we're gonna build this motherfucker, and all these assholes are gonna come in here and tell us how stupid we are. And they're all gonna come in and try to arrest us, try to make laws against us, which they did. Tell us all this crappy shit and all this stuff because they got a low IQ. Yep. I go, just listen, they're little kids, I told that one, don't listen to them, they're little kids with little low IQs, they might be tall, but they're like two, three, four year olds, and they have a low IQ, and they got, usually, people like that, we send them over with the helmets on, the special schools. Come on, guys! Shut up! So, we opened her up, people from Federal Reserve came in, and they wanted me to uh, teach them. Can I see this? Oh, there's a report. Silence. I'm giving a speech right now. Say hello, everyone. Hello! You gotta give it a little more time, right? <laughs> so, I don't reserve came in, some people. So I said, oh, they want us to teach them about Bitcoin. So I sent a friend of mine over there. He's calling in here. He probably doesn't want to be identified. I sent my friend over there who's a hypnotist. So I sent the hypnotist over there to teach him about Bitcoin at the Federal Reserve. <laughs> Sam down in D.C. told him about Bitcoin at the Federal Reserve down in D.C. But we haven't heard too many bad things from them. <laughs> and we're doing whatever we can. I mean, what are you going to do? This is the only chance. This is the only chance I think we got as humans to strive to knock off 
Our owners. Yes. You know, yes. Yes. Our owners who've been perched on top of us, sucking our blood. Yep. From cradle to grave, printing on top of you. Just yep. imagine this fucking crazy thing, printing all this crap, and you gotta jump through hoops to pick up little pieces of paper. Now, how many bolivars does it take to wipe your ass? Nine point six. Why would you buy the toilet paper? You could use the bolivars. <laughs> right. <laughs> Believe it. Is it to hit your house like the rubles and shit? I'm just saying. This is the only time I think in humanity that we have the ability to change, actually change the world down to the individual. Let's give a round of applause for the yes! blockchain yes! and Bitcoin. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, this is this is a revolution. It's a peaceful revolution. It's a monetary revolution. As a matter of fact, the people we're fighting are buying it. Oh! They can't help themselves. They can't help it. They're fucking buying it themselves. They're leaving their posts. They're buying Ripple. I buy. I got over there. I'm uh, grandfathered for a certain license. I'm not gonna say. And every time it's time for them to. Sign something or bring something. Oh, the guy uh, left this department and he's getting 300, 400 grand working for a Bitcoin company. He can't even get the government to work anymore. I'm just saying, it's a peaceful revolution. Where I took some notes. And uh, you guys, it's your job. I spent a lot of Bitcoin. I spent 40 grand a month for the rent and about 80 grand for the salaries and stuff. That's twelve, hundred twenty thousand dollars And Bitcoin was at about 200 or 170, $200 of Bitcoin. How many Bitcoins is that a month? A lot. How many? A lot. Five. 600. 20,000? 600. 600. 600. 800. $200. That was a lot of money. I think I paid about a hundred million dollars in Bitcoin a month wow. for the Bitcoin Center. <laughs> I'd sell my Bitcoin to pay the rent. Thank you! It's a hundred million a month. I don't give a fuck. I'll live on a park bench after this job's done. And I'll have the biggest smile. And if you want, you can bring me some Ripple wine. Yes, sir. Don't bring me that ripple shit. <laughs> bring me some ripple wine. I'll lay on the on the goddamn park bench. I'm here, open and no open and notoriously, and I'm fucking here, and I don't give a fuck. I was born free. You were born free. Yes. We're born in the image of the big guy up there. Yeah. I'm not afraid of any white buildings with little assholes in it. Yeah. yeah. And we got the power to change the world. That's right. And you guys got to wake up. Yeah. And just do it. Yeah. You can be rich. You can be rich. Yeah. Whatever. Rich what? And their pieces of paper that they print? Fuck that. Yeah, you can have a bunch of their little pieces of paper. Fuck their paper. Fuck their paper. I'm telling you, I'm cursing a lot, sorry. The reality is, this is the opportunity. It's in your hands. You know, you can manifest a new reality where everyone, the world, is a bountiful place and the world is a peaceful place. And if you can't make any fake money, you probably can't pay for all that shit they're blowing little babies up with. That's right. If someone had to actually dig a hole and get paid for it, and then give it and do it, and then they wouldn't, I don't think they'd be able to bomb anyone because they wouldn't use the money for that. That's right. I think because they print this fake money, they're killing people with it. That's right. So they can say whatever they want about us, that we're all bad people. They're fucking murderers. <laughs> they're counterfeiting murderers. That's right. That's damn straight. I'm going to get in big trouble with this. Fuck it. What do you think? I don't give a fuck. I never did. I always got in trouble. Got in trouble in school. Got in trouble everywhere. Cops ripped off my license the first day I, I got it. Got pulled over doing over 100 miles an hour. Uh. So, I think this is the opportunity. You can probably make a lot of money also. I know you guys want to make a lot of money. Yeah. You can do that also. And you can also fight the revolution. Fight the power. Woo.
You can beat down your owners. Yeah! I know that this is the group to give this speech to, yeah. of course. We're still standing. They're not taking us down. They've gone down. Yeah. They're buying our shit. That's right. I went over, I walked uh, through the stock exchange, and I almost cried. I heard an order, and I was like, oh, there's an order. I couldn't hear an order. No one was buying anything. But I heard an order. Hey! Uh, get me a dozen, dozen dumplings, the guy said. That was the order. The guy ordered dumplings. So pretty soon, they're going to need the Bitcoin down there so they can actually do something. No one wants their garbage that they can keep printing willy-nilly. And the reality is we have come over the top. I think it's weighted in our side. They're going to try to come after us now, probably, some of them. But you have to stand. You got to stand tall and strong and hold the coin and fuck them. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, like it or not, you are the revolution. Like it or not, if you're in it for greed, if you're like a descendant of a gold miner from fucking California, and you want, oh, that's mine. And you're the great, great grandson of one of those one-eyed guys with the, with the pig. And you got that in your blood, you're still part of the revolution. How about that? The American Revolution was fought with a, only a few guys started it. Everyone else, you know, they wanted to have a nice life and have money and not do it. The reality was, the reality is now that we can have our revolution and our money too. Right. So. If I were you, Hold it I'd, down. I'd grab a hold of some more coin and teach everyone How do you that you it? see about cryptocurrency and rise up to the occasion. And after you rise up to the occasion, we can break the backbone of the power. That's right. And we'll place it in the Bitcoin holder's hands. That was a little bit. That was from Martin Luther King had a speech. Don't let anyone make. Don't let anyone let you think that God chose America as a messianic force to be a sort of policeman of the whole world. God has a way of standing before a nation of judgment. It seems like I can hear God saying to America, "You're too arrogant." And if you don't change your ways, I will rise up and break the backbone of your power. Yeah. And I'll place it in the hands of the Bitcoin holders yeah. from around the world. Yeah. Be still and know that that's going to happen. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>